What is up guys, it is Maxwell back with another war recap video and in today's video we are gonna take a look at the war where we actually used a new friendly war feature for the first time, so let's get into it. So we were facing off against this clan, the Swarm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with this top tier fair play war clan, so yeah, we were very happy that we were able to match you guys from the Swarm, so let's get into the attacks. Alright, and starting things off at number 29, we have Morpheum coming in, who is our number 29, and he is bringing the Shattered Hobo in this in right here from the uh, 3 o'clock corner, pretty, pretty much a couple of golems going down for funneling, a couple of whizzies in behind. His uh, The enemy queen is level 30 and she's actually engaged very early to one of his golems, but he's very quick with his funnel and hence also very quick with uh, his king, queen and uh, the bowlers coming in, so... Uh, not too much of a worry because uh, the enemy queen is down very quickly, so Rage Spell deploys, uh, Clan Kessler has already come out, which is uh, in this case a baby dragon, a few of those uh, goblins and then just the usual little stuff. One giant going down to tank for his hawks, which are now coming in towards the um, top corner right here. And now let's take a look at this, he hits one giant bomb, two giant bombs, wizard tower. Uh, bomb tower, another giant bomb, and yet he's able to heal through all of that, so um, if any of you guys are asking yourselves uh, the question uh, if Hawk Riders are OP at tunnel 9 right now or not, maybe this is a little bit of evidence, another giant bomb right there, doesn't even need another heal spell, so yeah, Hawks are certainly very strong, I don't want to say overpowered yet, maybe uh, base design is going to catch up a little bit, but um, yeah, right now I definitely recommend Hawks, uh, uh, for Town Hall 9, you are also going to see a lot of Hawk Riders today. Uh, actually, uh, let's say we saw a lot of Hawk Riders in our clan war. Um, I'm not going to show you all Hawk attacks, obviously, because that would be a little bit boring. But yeah, we saw a lot of uh, Hawk attacks, a lot of uh, stoned and, and shattered go uh, hobo attacks in this war. So yeah, Hawks are definitely very dominant right now. And anyways, Morpheum wrapping up the 3 star right here, nicely done. Uh, on one of the uh, lower enemy bases, but uh, lower enemy bases, uh, we are gonna get to that because they didn't really have any low bases, everything was pretty much maxed out. And then let's move up a couple to number 25 where we have Phantom coming in and a little bit more evidence on the Hawk Rider case. Uh, he's brought a mass Hawk Rider attack, um, very uh, doable in this case because the Clan Castle is lurable so easily and the heroes are uh, right there alongside with it as well. So. Yeah, pretty much, uh, I don't want to say a no-brainer, but a pretty obvious decision right here. So, um, taking out the enemy clan castle and the enemy heroes with just uh, his heroes, a baby dragon, and a poison spell pretty much, and he also used the rage spell. Um, and then it's time for the hawks to uh, go and do their thing. Three heal spells left, which uh, should really be plenty um, to get through the space. He's very early with the hawks in the beginning, <coughs> Excuse me, which is what you want to do. And because since the Hawks kind of got tankier, they didn't really get a buff, but uh, the Giant Bombs just got a nerf. So uh, since they are uh, going to survive a lot longer now, you want to be very heavy with your Hawk deployment early in the attack. So nice job on that by Phantom. And at this point, um, he's got the um, clockwise circle going Hawks moving their way through the base right here, taking care of the last couple of defenses. And uh, take a look at how many Hawks he has left even deploys a few more on that archer tower right there. All the skelly traps chasing them, not really doing anything, so... Yeah, we might see another skeleton buff maybe in the future as well, since um, witches are still not that viable, uh, at least, I think, and uh, since the skeleton spell... Well, it got a little bit better, I think, but um, still not gonna be that common, uh, probably, so... Yeah, maybe we're gonna see a little bit more of a buff to skeleton traps as well, so uh, the Hawk Riders get a little bit of a nerf in that department. But we're just gonna have to wait and see uh, as Phantom wraps up this mass Hawk Rider 3 star right here on number 25. Just that last elixir storage going down and yeah, very nicely done on this one. And going up to number 24, we have Nika coming in right here. He has brought the uh, classical old Gola Luna attack. Uh, decided to use one loon early to lure out the um, clan castle part that would uh, target air, so um, Baby Dragon and a couple of archers were the air attackers in the clan castle in this case, so 
Got them out of the way. Golem is in now. Queen is in. She's already used her ability, but that's gonna be okay because she's gonna be tanked for um, uh, for the next part of this attack. Few bowlers in behind. Jump spell, rage spell going down. King has also now made his way towards the base. They're gonna take out two air defenses and the archer queen. Once the archer queen is engaged, he's gonna start with his laloon portion. Uh, gonna. Um, send in two hounds very early and a few balloons behind and the golems are actually at uh, the golems the bowlers are actually gonna help take out a couple more archer towers and one more air defense as well throwing their bowlers on it clean up already very early and this is a very very quick attack take a look at the timer and we haven't been in this attack for so long so yeah nice scout nicely done right here one export grounded as well which is obviously gonna help them out a little bit of the Tesla farm in the top corner right there, but I'm not going to be able to stop Neke, who is uh, really overpowering this base. Um, nice, nice job on this one. Very, very nice, as a matter of fact. And also very good spread in the cleanup, so uh, pretty much as fast as you can take down a Town Hall 9 right here for the 3-star. And up next is Xalo with a very interesting attack right here. Uh, he's got a little bit of a queen walk, baby dragon early, as you see that so as you see so often, and then he has uh, a couple of dragons which are gonna be the main force in his attack right here. So, baby dragons are creating the funnel now. The queen has moved in. She's gonna take out a few trash buildings as well before she's gonna head towards the middle to um, take out um, the clan castle and as much as many air defenses as she can, and. Yeah, then he has Zap Quick as well to get one more air defense. So um, at this point, uh, he's very patient. One archer has taken out the uh, corner builder hut. Rage spell going down since the queen has engaged uh, three uh, uh, point defenses or four even, and also uh, a skelly trap. Uses the rage spell for the wall breakers to crack that wall open a little bit easier. Also very nice timing on that. Then a clan castle deploys a bunch of goblins baby dragon and there's a couple of valkyries in there as well so that's all gonna get killed and the poison actually has to use the queen ability as well since the valkyries were able to latch onto the queen so at this point the air expo is gonna get taken out right here so that is going down and the dragons are being deployed now towards the top side of the space <clears throat> he brings a big line of dragons and then um, also, a balloon has uh, been dropped to um, scout for some air traps. Um, enemy queen is gonna go down very easily to the dragons. At this point, the queen is grabbing another air defense, with which is uh, huge. The max lava hound from the clan castle is taking the last air defense inside of this base, and the dragon pathing is so good that the drag couple of dragons are actually gonna lock onto the air defense just as the lava hound pops. So, uh, yeah, very nice timing. Looks very good. Maybe he could have been a little bit earlier with the king right here to kind of funnel those two dragons towards the middle, but um, still he has plenty of juice left to get through, through the rest of the space. As a matter of fact, we kind of lost the queen on the screen right here, but she is still up and running as well. Gonna grab the Tesla farm towards the bottom if the dragons don't outrace her. So um, yeah, another very nice scout uh, crippling this base for his attack, getting the three star in a very dominating fashion as well. Um, a little bit slower than Nike before, but uh, also a very convincing 3-star right here by Xalo, uh, as we are used to really by him. And then we have Bene, who has had a hot streak recently on the Town Hall 10 level, pre-update I have to add, and uh, he's obviously always doing Town Hall 9 attacks as well, so in this case, um, a very mixed up attack right here. Uh, he's got three golems, a lava hound, uh, and then um, uh, he has nine balloons. So very, very split up attack in this case. Um, the opener is uh, once again going to be um, a hobo opener. So very widespread with the funneling right here. Another wizard going down to take care of that barracks. So the queen is going to go left. A little bit of a golem walk, queen walk as well in this uh, case. Couple of golems taking down that wizzy tower. Then they are gonna move left right here towards the entry spot that he has chosen. Wall breakers going down, cracking everything open. Now the pathing has been open for the bowlers and also the king. So everything moving in beautifully right here. Golems get the giant bomb triggered, which is a nice bonus as well. 
Now they can just kind of move uh, down the gooch right here, take care of that air defense, take care of the enemy queen, take care of the clan castle. Couple balloons being trickled in already towards the bottom right here since uh, the golemite is tanking the archer tower. One, golem, uh, one balloon can take out the wizard tower and a couple more balloons gonna take the archer tower. So yeah, nicely, nicely done on this in this case and he actually has an extra lava hound because all the air defenses already went down so um, once again a very a convincing attack right here very strong one haste spell left not even gonna need that really he has three balloons left in the back as well a full health queen with her ability a full size golem two bowlers i think and a little bit of cleanup already coming down right here so he's probably gonna um, save balloons for cleanup as well since he doesn't really need that to take care of the rest Lava Hound is actually not gonna pop, but that's gonna be okay. So, last couple of defenses going down right now. And then he's just gonna use his uh, three balloons for cleanup towards the bottom side right here, where a gold storage is still standing. And yeah, very nicely done once again by Bina. So, also doing well on the town online level. So, yeah, nice job right there, my man. And for the last attack of this recap, once again, it is Heisenberg coming in on number 12 in this case. Interesting attack, a little bit of a queen walk with only three healers in the beginning, so his goal right here is to take out the um, enemy heroes, and after that the rest of his attack is going to be um, released, so early poison spell to uh, slow down the damage of the king and queen, now they are gonna, both going to engage at the same time, so huge amount of damage coming in right here with the cannon as well, but he doesn't have to use the ability, so that's very nice, enemy king and queen now down. One balloon coming in to take care of that mortar right there. Um, the healers are going to catch an air bomb, which is going to be okay. And then he sends in the rest of his uh, kill squad towards the top corner right here. Queen is going to walk her way up and join up with the kill squad eventually. Funnel is being created with the baby dragon, couple of whizzies. Still hasn't deployed the king and has not deployed his clan castle yet. So as the jump spell goes down, a giant bomb gets triggered, which is a nice bonus right there by the golems. Uh, then the bowlers are moving in. Actually, he has the baby dragon helping out with the clan castle in this case. It's gonna take a couple of shots before it gets gunned down by that air defense, which is a nice bonus as well. So, that uh, I don't think that was the plan, but uh, anyways, it worked out that way. Second jump spell going down to allow the kill squad access through the entirety of the base to take care of a couple more defenses. And then he's starting off with his hawks already. He has had 16 of them. They are gonna 2v1 the first Tesla right there. Jump uh, Spring Trap actually catches one of them, but uh, he deploys more and more Hawks in a surgical fashion, saving five for some backhand defenses right here. But the initial line of defenses in the um, nine o'clock corner is just gonna get absolutely smothered by those uh, Hawks because he was heavy enough on those. Queen still up with her ability and the bowler. The wizard tower that was distracted for most of the time is gonna get killed by the hawks nice and easy. And then just one archer tower left, gonna deploy one more hawk to tank it. Rest of the hawks which are lower on health are gonna take it out. And then he's just one hawk left for cleanup as well and one balloon for cleanup. So, and the wizard as well. So, very nicely done right here by Heisenberg for another very nice and patient attack. Didn't see uh, too many of those extremely patient attacks this war, but he's usually very patient at he once again got it done in this case so yeah nice job once again nice job to our town hall nines overall in war um, i think we did relatively well on the town hall nine level let's go ahead and check the results and we can see that we um, actually had to take uh, an l right here to the swarm lost by three stars um, yeah they got a couple more three stars than we did and we also missed out on a couple of Town Hall 11, so taking a look at the top right here, we were able to top 3 star their top 3 bases, but we missed out on number 4. And then since the update, uh, obviously um, nuking or dipping has gotten a lot tougher, so we also missed out on number 5, actually that was uh, yeah yours truly, so no glory in this war for me, um, but that's gonna be okay. Um, 3... Town, more Town Hall 10s that we missed out on, so 4 Town Hall 10s we missed on in total, and then we cleared all the 9s um, as usual, so got that done. And taking a look at the Swarm's performance, so um, they 2 start all of our Town Hall 11s, and then they 3 start all Town Hall 10s but 2, so 
they were just uh, more adjusted to the dipping or better with the La Luna text or uh, which, whichever way you want to call it. So they were just more successful in the Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 level. Um, gotta be honest, we didn't perform our best this war. Maybe we didn't have the best organization as well, but um, don't want to take anything away from the Swarm. As we all know, they are a very good clan and they did well once again in this war. So congratulations to you guys. We still had a ton of fun uh, warring you guys. Uh, I can tell that there was a lot of hype going. We knew we were gonna match you guys this weekend, so thanks for the matchup. And one more thing I'd like to show to you guys. I noticed that a couple of you have had difficulties, at least from our clan, to find the um, friendly wars. And let's go ahead and go on Warlock right here, and then you can um, just uh, check mark friendly war right here, and then another Warlock is gonna show up. So. This is the usual warlock where we still have our undefeated streak going on, that's nice. And then if you just um, check um, friendly war right there, then you can go to the details. So for all of you um, war replay watchers who didn't know that, that's where you can find the friendly warlock. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this recap, guys. I hope you enjoyed, although we lost. And until the next one, I will see you all later. Peace out.